on here on Richard, you know, uh, Spirit TV, a place for you. The calls are open. Please uh, use any of the numbers you see below the screen, Airtel or MTN. Call in and be like, you know what, Lawson, this is our number one. This is going to be our number one. And of course, uh, the countdown has already started. We've already played you three songs of the countdown. And uh, Mandem, Dev MC, the baddest guy, the illest and the baddest and the... <laughs> Soko Kamaleo, Uncle Soko Kamaleo. Kali? Practically and evidently the finest urban MC. Practically and evidently the finest urban MC. Urban MC. Oh, yeah. Urban DJ Chigamayachi Jahugwe. Ingridian Mukuluchi Ravika. Welcome to the show, bro. I thank you so much. In it's always a pleasure. Yeah. Ogeze no kuwaka black and no fun and a background here. Fin. Simani na anke, simani na kede we will be close it. Ati, na wadengi na kubu zanto wa, ubaba wa yangami wakujia wakushone ngambo wa mkubi leo kumpe waka akasuti, no, akasuti kaka hidi woke wakuwa ku RGM. Yeah, akasuti kaka hidi woke wakuwa ku Suti ya Dayoda. Ma, it's a yeah. pleasure being here, yeah. and uh, I'm, I'm, you know, so happy to be here with uh, you, the entire team. It's yeah. always home, Baba. Thank you so much for what you're doing. It's mm. a good thing. I was at reception, and uh, when I came in, I told you this set looks so fly. Yeah. And uh, trust me, you guys, recharge is the place to be at every other Saturday, and yeah. I'm happy to be here. I mean, we have the whole house here. We have the cars. Mm. I have a car. <laughs> we, we have the ladders. <laughs> we <laughs> have <laughs> the <laughs> dream, the drum. <laughs> okay, to begin that. guys, we are here for the countdown. Of course, three th uh, three songs have already been played, yeah. and uh, we have uh, Munene Munene all the way from uh, Damascus Esanga, yeah. and we have uh, Buomi all the way from Gracia Music, and of yeah. course, we've just. I uh, played for you, Remember Me, or Remember, all the way from Sinach. Yeah, the legendary Sinach. The legendary Sinach. Yeah. What makes someone a legendary? What makes someone a legendary? One, the pedigree they have. Mm -hmm. uh, pedigree comes along with... Uh, What's this pedigree? Pedigree is the seniority, the expertise, uh, the, the, the much experience you have in something. Yeah. Uh, so if you have a pedigree in something, whereby right. we no longer need you to... Prove us. Yes, prove your point. Yes. Then you are definitely a legendary. Though many people have uh, now kind of uh, eluded it in one or the other and, you know, uh, kind of minimized it to a little bit minor issues, but yeah. then legendary specifically, you have to have a pedigree. The I people mean, that are legendary in the, in the gospel when it yes. comes to TV presenting and radio presenting, yeah. uh, you can talk about uh, quite a number of them. If, 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 if I'm 10 years, if I've done 10 years in the, in the business or in the game, am I a legend? Ten years in yes. the game. Yes. You are in the evening, or you are in the evening of trying to get to the legendary uh, stage. But also, yeah. why time mm. may not necessarily be a big yardstick, though it yeah. is one, is because you may have that time that is quite a lot in whatever you're doing. Yeah. But the impact, the impact of it, may not really necessarily be thought. So, as you're having five years or three years. Do you have that impact such that when you accumulate to 10 years, yeah. it is actually quite a big impact? I mean, uh, we've just heard Munene Munene, Damascus yep. Esanga. And uh, it's one of the songs I remember we parted with too when we were getting into the year. Munene Munene. Damascus Esanga, mm. uh, a talented uh, guy out there. One, <laughs> well, objectively, yeah. I feel Damascus Sesang should uh, Stay try as much as possible not to be kind of a prototype to Pastor Wilson Bugembe. What do you mean prototype? Because... Uh, not try... I believe he is a very big mentor to him yeah. in everything they do. Yeah. And they say association brings assimilation. Yeah. But uh, we need to really have a Damasco that is not trying to be a Pastor Bugembe. Who is, who is the real Damasco when you talk about that? Because uh, according to all these songs, who is the real Damasco? I think uh, an uncle is, is, a, is quite a good Damasco. Then the Washpa at Wash House, yeah. that's a real Damasco. I, I would love to, to see more. What about... But all I'm saying is, yeah. uh, association brings assimilation. That's yeah. the, the point I'm trying to drive. Mm. And it takes a degree of uh, discernment and also a degree of uh, hard, hard work to push away yourself from someone just because you're associating with them. Yeah. Otherwise, I feel like uh, one of these is we, he's seemingly sounding like Pastor Wilson Bugembe, though he has the ability to actually independently uh, sound the way he is supposed to sound. Wow. Mnene Mnene is a good danceable song. Yeah. 
We have a lot of uh, bacteria infection in Kampala. Uh huh. Yes. Now, what do infection? Jetulina, jetulino kuranisa. Jebaita inclusivity infection. What is inclusive? You guys, uh, forgive me, but when you make the call, I'll be the one to talk to uh, you. Kato, kato nanyo. And I, I want to go on record, yeah. Okay. I want, I want to be objective. Yes. Inclusive the infection is the fact that uh, I'm going to do everything possible mm. to see that I'm included everywhere. Oh, okay, I get you. Now, our artists, uh, one of these days, there's that infection. Yes, yes, I get that. And, uh, <laughs> So this is leading us into sometimes omutunao kulichigo manga chakabinyo na yenga ultimately wubango vude kungoma. Yes. Ingumi ya just ya gara emuiseo somewhere. Emuiseo. Somewhere are very really included. So if we can reduce on the inclusivity kind of infection mm. and re be who we are, because trust me, it's a nice video. Yeah. It's a nice beat. Yeah. Uh, but I feel like uh, if possible, the energy put to the music when it comes to the videos and uh, the, pro uh, the production mm. could also be put to gospel songwriters. Yeah. Yeah? M most of them, they, I mean, they're inspired by the Holy Spirit. We don't have a lot of ghost writers in the gospel industry. Uh, we may not have a lot, but at least we have some. If you are not really gifted and you don't feel it at that, at that time, mm. it's possible for you to actually speak someone to pin down for you something that is really... Uh, but but when, we, when you look at all the worship, all the musicians in the Bible, that's David, that's who... They were all inspired by it. No one wrote for them songs. It's another point, actually, we shall talk about. Let's go to number nine. Uh, <laughs> but, but it's a good dance song. Yes, it's yeah. a very good song, and yeah. I love it. Yeah, mm. Every time I, I groove on it. Yeah, mm. Number nine, we have Gresham coming in with the Wuomi. And uh, I mean, every time I see Gresham, I just remember uh, the first song he did that really were like, okay, who is this guy? Who is mm. this? Mm. Yeah, now we have Buomi. I think the singer is going to sing. Yes. Then uh, there's some other song also. Uh, you know, he, he's a really, really talented guy. Yeah. And uh, I'm happy he's on the countdown. Yeah. You've heard him here before, right? Yes. Yes. Buomi uh, is, is a very, very good song. Uh, there is something about his sound when you listen to him mm. and the way he brings out his uh, his voices and his vocals and everything it's quite uh, you know interesting to see that uh, the trend his own is one of those acceptable trends because uh, sometimes there is a trend that comes mm. and uh, it is acceptable in society yeah. and we have to jump on it so i feel like he is really good yes. obum is a good song and let's give it time and uh, also adding to what i would call inclusivity factor or mm. inclu inclusivity infection yes um when you listen to Obuomi, he's representing Christ in the Aoma is sweet. Yes. Nae, Tamogera. How? Tamogera and Chono Gwenjo Gerako. If you listen to the song very well. All right, for those that, uh, you know, are deep in the word that will understand. Okay, what I'm trying to say is mm. uh, can we always also be exact to like Jesus? Yes, Obuomi Gerako, yes, you get Obuomi. Because, you know, Kujao. Uh, just a few lines in take away in Yalia Baby, and it's going to turn into another song. I mean, we have one one of the songs that trended last year. Its title does not even talk about Jesus, but you guys love it. Which song? Guys, uh, we are going to. <laughs> <laughs> Which song? <laughs> uh, number, number nine. It's uh, number eight, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Or take it, Olim. No, take it. Or take it. And I will get up with yes. I will get up with Mm. Yeah, okay. Uh, number nine, number eight, we have a, a very beautiful song all the way from the legendary, mm. uh, the lady that visited Uganda, of course, last year. And we loved, we loved her. We are really like, yo, it's here, yeah, it's happening. And of course, that's Remember from Sinach. A very good song to reflect on to yeah. your personal life. Very true. Yeah. Now, a person of Sinach, like I told you, the paid degree, mm. the seniority, and now in the gospel, it even comes to the priesthood. Yes. Uh, she has kept her priesthood. I would really want to not compare, but kind of draw an analogy and uh, just put a similarity between her and uh, Sis Wainans. Yeah. I would want to really walk her man, accept her as the Sis Wainans of the, of the African, of really? the African uh, gospel industry. I mean, the priesthood, mm. uh, the delivery, yeah. uh, it comes along with uh, that kind of uh, seniority in what you have. When you look at the pain and everything, so I would really have less to say but to appreciate what she's doing. Yep. And uh, definitely someone like that 
everything that is coming from her because of her priesthood, because in the spiritual realm we have uh, also authorities. Authority. So she's an authority. Yeah, I mean, for now she deserves to be on number eight, three. And I believe she's even going to be better than that wow. on this countdown. Wow, that's beautiful. I mean, the calls are open. All you have to do is just get your phone, uh, dial on any of the networks you love, and call in and be like, hey, Lawson, I love the show, but I guess this is going to be our number one on the countdown. For now, let's take you back to our countdown. We play you number seven, number six, and of course, number five. <laughs> 